welcome welcome back to my channel my name is Tana Lotus Kosana and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel if you haven't done so please click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell next to it in order for you to receive notifications once I upload a video today I want to talk to you guys about hiring of wedding dresses is hiring a wedding dress cheaper than buying yes definitely hiring a, a wedding dress is definitely cheaper than purchasing one is it the best option not all the time today i'm going to give you just some pointers what to look out for when you are hiring a, a bridal gown so you've booked your appointment you're going to go you've decided that you're hiring a dress you walk into the bridal shop and you choose a dress or there's thousands and thousands of dresses that you can choose from and you fit on this beautiful dress then you realize that the dress doesn't actually fit you perfectly and you start asking questions can i alter this dress you can do minimum alterations on the dresses but you can't do a major um, alteration on the dresses most shops don't even allow you to to do any alterations you have to take the dress as it is regardless of how it fits sometimes you will see they are not perfect fits and they might not have additional sizes um, for the dress that you love so you need to bear in mind that not all shops or boutiques can alter dresses out um, when you are hiring it let's say for example now you've decided that okay i'm going to take this dress you have found the perfect dress to hire the dress fits you perfectly and now you need to put down a deposit on this dress once you've put down a deposit on the dress for example let's say for hiring out the dress you are going to pay ten thousand rands for higher fee you're going to now put down a deposit of five thousand rands on the dress so in total you're going to be paying fifteen thousand rands to hire the dress and then your deposit obviously at the end when you return the dress you going to return they're going to return um your five thousand rands on return of you returning the dress if that makes sense and sometimes i mean sometimes you putting down five thousand rands that five thousand rands could have gone towards something towards the wedding it could have you could have um, given your guests more canapes. You could have ordered more champagne for your guests. You could have even hired a band for your for for your wedding. But because now you've opted to hire out a dress, the five thousand rands now from the budget of the wedding will, however, be kept um, towards the hiring of the dress. You also need to make sure when you go pick up the dress that you've hired you need to have a final fitting for the dress you need to make sure that if there were alterations if those alterations were done you need to also check if the dress comes with a veil the dress comes maybe with an overskirt the dress comes maybe with an underskirt if all those are packed with um what you're going to pick up or the garment that you're going to pick up or the the package that you're going to pick up because if you realize at a later stage that the veil was actually not packed you're going to pay for that veil so when you hire out the dress make sure that they've packed each and every single thing that you have agreed upon or you have paid for so that on return of the the dress everything else return you bring back you know everything as it was but make sure before you leave the shop or before you leave the boutique that you've checked that each and every single thing has been packed because you will definitely pay for something that you did not even take from the store make sure before you sign the contract for hiring when you should return the dress if there is a charge for late returns you need to make sure that it is in the contract sometimes they don't specify when the dress needs to be returned 
so that's another question that you need to ask at the bridal shop when you are hiring a dress is it seven days after the wedding is it two days after the wedding is it a day after the wedding so you need to make sure when exactly you need to return your dress the next thing you're flying out and you're going on your honeymoon and it's a sunday the dress needs to be returned on a monday morning eight o'clock so you need to make sure exactly when your dress needs to be returned so that you are able to plan the return of the garment when you're dropping off your hired dress stick around with the consultant stay with the consultant so that the consultant can check if everything is in the bag and if everything is perfect because they can say to you that the dress has been torn and you don't you didn't check you didn't check with the consultant to see if the dress is then torn they can say to you that a belt is missing or an underskirt was not was not packed in the the bag so you need to stay and check with the consultant and go through everything that you've you have hired the veil is in there the underskirt is in there the overskirt is there the dress is in perfect condition you need to stay with the consultant and check on the drop off if everything is is perfect because if you don't do that some stores do then take advantage of you and they will however say maybe the veil is torn and you might not uh, get back your your deposit back so you need to be extra careful when you are dropping off your your wedding dress so is hiring a dress the best option for you you need to think about it you need to really think about it carefully if you're going to spend around 15,000 rands to hire a dress and then you accidentally the dress gets gets torn at the wedding or someone steps on your dress and something happens to the dress is it worth it because now one you might not get back your 5,000 rands deposit that you've paid you might maybe get back a thousand rands. So in total, you've spent 14,000 rands to hire a dress. You could have perfectly, or you could have, you could have bought a new dress, you could have bought a dress to keep for 14,000. Pictures, it might, you might be restricted to even take pictures. The photographer can say to you, there's a beautiful bush, you know, near the wedding venue, Let's go take pictures there. Once the sun sets or the sun comes down, those pictures are going to look beautiful and you're going to make beautiful memories. But now you're thinking, oh, what if the dress gets torn when I go to those bushes? So it also restricts you in terms of taking pictures. If the dress becomes dirty, for example, it, get, it rains and then you step on mud, things like those. It's going to restrict you in that um, that if you return the dress, then you might not get back your full deposit because number one, where you have hired your dress, they do need to dry clean the dress for the next person. So you need to be extra careful when you are hiring out um, a wedding gown. A wedding gown sentimental value. Yes, definitely. Wedding gowns are, are sentimental value. Some families keep wedding gowns for many, many generations. They pass them down to their kids, to their grandkids. So they are sentimental value. When you get married with a hired dress, it feels like it's just a piece of dress or piece of cloth that you're just going to wear for the day. And then another bride will take it the following weekend. So if you know that you're a type of person that values such things, memories, sentimentals, or you are all you know, emotional when it comes to sentimental pieces, this hiring option is definitely not for you because you will come back after a couple of months and say, oh, I should have bought that dress instead. Because sometimes you won't get your deposit back. 
some people feel that oh but because i'm gonna get back my five thousand rands i will you know or where am i where am i gonna keep the dress again or where am i gonna wear the dress again if you know that you're a sentimental type of person or sentimental value type of person hiring is definitely not an option for you so let's just wrap it up or let's just go back to all the points point number one you need to check your dress when you're hiring out you need to check your dress when you pick it up if everything is in the bag that they've packed if you've got all the pieces that you're going to need on your wedding day drop-offs you need to check with the consultant if everything is in the bag if everything is in perfect condition so that you are not cheated from your deposit point number three you need to check if, if is it worth it is it worth it for me to actually hire a dress for fifteen thousand? is it really worth it because with that fifteen thousand, you could have custom made a beautiful wedding gown that you want that you basically choose each and every single element of the dress for yourself so make sure or you know evaluate if it is worth it for you to to hire out a dress point number four what's point number four sentimental value <laughs> point number four sentimental value are things like wedding gowns or you know sentiment like are they sentimental value do you value them in your life is it something that you can um keep for your grandchildren for you know generations that are going to come i'm also thinking that i'm going to do a video on how to actually store your wedding gown or what you can actually do with a wedding gown that you've bought because it's not just you giving away your wedding gown to the next generation they can use pieces of the wedding gown for something else so if you're a sentimental value type of person hiring stay away from hiring and point number five check where you are hiring check where you are hiring your dresses from if you are hiring your dresses from boutiques and um, bridal shops check what their terms and conditions are because if you don't check if you don't read the fine print then definitely you will be cheated from um, your money and you will feel as if I could have just spent that 15,000 rands or that 20,000 rands for me to just keep the dress for myself. So really do your research and find out exactly what the terms and conditions are for hiring out your bridal gown. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as well, don't forget to click the bell next to the subscribe button in order for you to receive notifications once i have uploaded a video don't forget as well to put down some comments down there let me know if you're thinking of hiring out um your wedding dress if you are thinking of hiring a wedding dress if you need advice or you need to you need pointers on what you to look out for when hiring a dress do comment down below i will however get back or i will answer all the comments and if you're getting married in 2020 good luck to you and do enjoy your wedding 2021 should be a beautiful year for weddings let's hope and i will see you guys on the next one goodbye